Welcome back guys, Angel Khadija here, you're watching Angel Boss Gaming. So, the last video I, I, I did was let's see what kind of jobs we my have. loadouts. So now let's go put one of one or a few of these to the test in PvP. So uh, if you guys missed the video, I'll have it in the description below. Um, basically it's I came up with my own custom loadouts for the three classes that I played them out. I am not going to lie to you, this is a fun game, and where I would love to play all the classes, it's just not going to happen. Um, they have five classes, and, I mean, nope, you can't play them all. You can play them all, but you're only going to be good at, good, good at a couple of them. So pick the classes that you're good at, even if it's only one, and then basically, when in your loadout menu, make as much variations of that one class as you can, or as you can allow yourself. So for us, we have two destroyers, two dreadnoughts, and one artillery cruiser and each of them is optimized for their own situation we have two close range two long range and then the artillery cruiser is by default long range so that doesn't count but i have a dreadnought that's close range i have a destroyer that's close range i have a dreadnought for long range and i have a destroyer for long range so in my opinion very versatile and we are attention all ships eliminate incoming enemy forces progress and I'm pretty sure what we're up against one Dreadnought, two Dealers, one Corvette, one Destroyer. Okay, so. This is my close range combat build, so I'm going to need to. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Remember that you can use your forward thrusters to move yourself around the map. Now, that's an enemy sniper, I just need to get. That, no, that's actually an enemy healer. I just need to get close enough that I can work on him. There we go. Turn off. Vibrate all powers to attack. Jump complete. Jump cooling down. Gun assistant, assist, brought our cannons, locked. Up in the shield. This guy is dead. Yep, you're dead. Stop, get the shield on, get the shield, shield, come on, get the shield up. Go, 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 get the shield up. Patch, and then we're going to wipe. Uh, okay, that's another assist. Oh god, we are taking a lot of damage. That's just good. That's good. When you're in trouble, use your warp drive. It helps. Oh god, jeez. Okay, I need to regen. I need to get myself somewhere to recover. Okay, so that that's really good. That's really good. We ran up on a couple. I think we got one kill out of the bunch and two assists. That's I'm I'm, I'm gonna take that. Now we just need to. Basically, buy ourselves some time to regen our HP, get our abilities back online. Um, the team is fighting over there, so we need to make a massive U turn and get ourselves over there. Maximum thrusters, here we go, boys. Um, I'm not pretty sure if they are beneath or on top. It's hard to tell. I think they're beneath, so we're gonna try and come in from the bottom. So we're gonna go down a little bit. I'm, I need to control my hot keys because I need to swap out which default keys summon my functions. Uh, functions are my shields, my... Uh... So we are in a nice position here. And we just, just need to get close enough to do something. Okay, they're having a firefight over there. Ooh, okay, one of our teammates just went down. Another two, they're taking some. Okay, I'm coming, guys. Give me a second. Slow and steady. Rins. Okay, so we got ourselves a ship, and we're swapping the shields. When you jump, it's always best to swap the shield until you come out of your jump. So you know exactly. There we go. Came behind the bin. Oh, he walked away. Smart guy!
Don't forget you can swap your weapons. Okay, so we have an assist. This guy has some long weapons on him. We're gonna warp on him. So, let's get ready. Aha! Warping can also help you to dodge. Ooh, okay. Wow. Armor. Okay, so I warped into a wall. <laughs> That's not the best scan situation. Okay, so you are overheating, putting energy system offline. Your energy systems are off, you don't have any energy. You can use this time to just kind of reach in. Keep my head around the corner a little bit. Because I do have some attack that I can use. My shields are coming back up. We're gonna warp on this guy. Activating. And we're gonna turn on maximum damage. So when we get out, we're gonna hit him as hard as possible. Jump cooling down. There we go, he's dead, he's going down, he's going down, swap the shields. Woohoo! Oh crap! Shield activated. <laughs> he put his shields up. Hit him with the Argon. Hit him with the Argon. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where you go, buddy? Down she goes, down she blows. Okay, now we're gonna die. Brought that cannon. We got this guy locked on. Not pretty sure why this guy is trying. Why is this healer trying to buy fight me like that? I'm not pretty sure. I'm gonna warp. Uh oh. Armor. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, wow, why is that? Oh my, I got killed by a tactical cruiser. <laughs> the healer is, why are these healers trying to play the offensive role? Actually, I got killed by the Corvette. No, the tactical cruiser, yeah. Why are these healers trying to play an offensive role? Do these, do these guys lose the game or something? But, um, uh, regardless, I probably we should try our close range, um, let's try the battle ramp. We're going to try our close range, um, Destroy a red bot now. Orders are to destroy all enemy ships. Good luck, Captain. Wow, we are losing. I have to... Gosh, okay, so we lost the upper hand. That sounds nice. <laughs> I like the thrust sound of this guy. <laughs> sounds a little bit cool. Okay, so what are we looking for? The healers are pain. Okay, so we have a disruptor missile launched to him. We've got light Trying to get in range to ram him. Yep! Ah. Oh! 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 So we just ran the very first ship and it feels awesome! This so we are, right now we're taking a close range beating from this guy, plasma ram is about to come on, disrupting missiles, there we go, that's another kill baby, that's another kill, okay we need to find a other healer, swap into maximum speed, okay there's a healer somewhere around here, wait hold on, hold on, somebody shooting at me? I can't tell right now. Oh, there you are. There you are, buddy. Okay, so we need to defend. We need to ascend, not to ascend. Of course we are winning. You got me and your team, man. I'm being a little bit cocky, but I'm being... No, man. I'll be playing. That's another thing I like to mention. I haven't played like 100 plus games of this. I have like probably 26 games at best. And... Six of those games I play when I launch disruptor missile, I captain. Okay, so we're gonna descend. Okay, we're gonna ram this guy. I need to get another ram. <laughs> okay, so he has disrupted. Light autogun scanning for targets. God, you are descending. God, where is this? This guy is really low, man. Okay, so this guy is using the advantage of descending. Got to reload. Stand by. There we go. Force him up. Launch 
Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Son, sir, you're in the way. You're in the way. I'm gonna ram him. Ram him. Here we go. Aww, how do you get to ram him? Okay. Okay, so that's another. Okay, so they have a sniper. That's bad. It's bad business. Okay. Come on, turn! Ow! Okay, we got the warp out of there. Yep, we're warping out of there. Okay, so definitely we need to swap our items around a little bit. Disrupt the missile. Okay, so we need to get back into the battle. They have two snipers. I hit him with a disruptive missile, so he can't use any of his abilities, which is great. We're gonna try and warp, get a little closer. We have our target locked, people. Let's move on in. He has maximum damage on, so we're gonna turn all maximum damage on. Why won't I should move? Go! Okay, I think we should be moving as I said, that guy is really hot. Oh crap! Oh my, I did the, I did the, the ram, but um, I descended. Oh, okay. Oh crap. That's a nice game, guys. That's a nice game. So, my close range combat builds work. The battle ram I need to get used to because I, I need to remember when I'm actually ramming people, I have to be in the same level as them. If I descend onto them, I'm just going to basically fly onto them. <laughs> so, um, that's uh, that was a nice match, guys. That was a nice match. I do have to say, yes, nice heals indeed. Nice heals. We had a very good healer. He he did his job and kept them kept us in the game. He has four kills too. Good job to you. We had one death. We have seven kills and four assists. Now that's a good kill death ratio. So uh, we're not gonna end it end it there. Uh, well, then I probably should because I'm probably sure I'm gonna go into a match where I have a bad team and I'm gonna lose. So the next. So I'm just going to end it here because I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to have right now. I'm going to go into a match and I'm just going to get a horrible team and I'm going to lose because that's how this game works. They give you a good team and they give you a bad team. So, so far, the Plasma Ram works for the close range combat. It's just, um, yeah, it just adds, you just have to level it up and it does a lot of damage. I can't believe I rammed that ship. That was so, <laughs> that feeling felt so good that I rammed that, that small little ship there. <laughs> he just, he just took it deep. That's exactly what happened to him. He just took it deep. So guys, that was some that was some more dreadnought gameplay. Um, this guy needs a little bit more work. Um, definitely the fetch missiles. I'm not feeling you, buddy. I'm probably gonna need to swap these out for something else. But we just have to work on unlocking whatever we can. And uh, once again, guys, thank you guys for watching and like would be much appreciated. And uh, let me know what you guys thought of the the whole that whole battle. Let me know if you guys um, thought of the the use of skills. Did they come in handy? Did did the bills actually work according to how I said they were gonna work? Um, I mean, for me, I think it did work the way how oh, okay, stop pressing the button. I think it did work the way how I needed them to because um, the close range combat is is brutal. Close range combat on its own, it's brutal. You get in there, you miss like the very first time we got in there, we missed our broadside cannons, and that alone is 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 uh, less devastating. Broadside cannons have a six second cooldown, so you have to survive six seconds before you can open fire again, and that's basically the test of your steel right there. Um, uh, as I said, this guy is gonna be your primary damage 
so you just want to be very careful. So, um, thank you guys for watching once again. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, you should hit that subscribe button because we plan to bring you guys some more footage, and hopefully, I can bring you guys another successful match like that one. It came in third with a 7.1 kill that ratio, and that's well, that's an awesome kill that ratio, if I may say so myself. Seven, seven kills, and one deaths. That's a pretty good kill that ratio. I think we got a total of four kills with the dreadnought and three kills with the destroyer. If I'm not mistaken, I probably should check the video over again and see exactly. How much, but I think that's how much we got. If it's the other way around, we got three kills with the Dreadnought and four kills with the Destroyer. But once again, as I said, those are the two classes. The three classes I play the best are Dreadnought, Destroyer, and the Artillery Cruiser. And I'm going to stick to playing those classes because those are the classes that I'm very good at. And I mean, I'm still trying to master my driving skills. It's kind of hard to maneuver the spaceship, and I don't, I don't even have a driver's license. So, uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, I still have to get. Oh! On that note, I need to do one thing. I need to tell you guys, you need to do some key bindings. I'm going to bind up some keys myself. I need to swap out my call to, uh, call to shield functions from my app. Because right now, you can use the F system to get the extra. But um, I think for me, I am going to change these out. I'm not sure I'm going to put them as yet. I'm going to swap that back. But I think I'm going to use my... Okay, Q is to drop drop a weapon, so I think I'm going to use my F. I'm going to use F3, and I'm going to swap shields to E. Because shields are something you're going to be calling a lot, especially when you're playing the close range, um, the close range mode. So, um, being able to swap between that is really great. I mean, that's a lifesaver. See how this works. I'm gonna apply that and see how that works in the next game that we play. So that's another tip to you guys. Look at the controls and basically customize them to how you feel they'll work better for you. I played a lot of MMOs. I'm probably gonna change the amplified damage to the tab button because that also is something that feels feel, feel very familiar with me with playing um, these games. Um, I play a lot of Netpoints online and I had a use of a tab button. So, uh, thank you guys for watching once again. I'm going to stop boring you guys. Um, get, move on. Yeah, we have more videos for you guys. Uh, we are covering Overwatch. We're covering Now Battleborn's Out. We're covering um, Cross Out. And I'm covering this new alpha demo called, Na Na, I think it's Nio. So, we got a lot of content for you guys. I'm not going to hold you up here. I need to go watch those other videos and do what you do best. Like and leave a comment. So, thank you guys for watching once again. And until next time, guys, take it easy.